Hi there, Will here, and today I'm at the Two Oceans Aquarium where they've kindly granted me permission to use my film camera and tripod. So I'm going to make some film pictures of fish and other things. I've brought a polarizing filter with me to try to get rid of these reflections, but it doesn't really seem to be up to the task, to be honest. It might be because this is plastic and it's reflecting in a different way, but the most I can seem to do is uh, slightly lighten the level of reflection, but I can't get rid of them, which is both unfortunate, but also it adds a bit of a challenge, you know? Maybe I can make a picture where the reflections are part of it, and that could be cool. <laughs> I wish I had something uh, important to say, so that I could say it in front of this uh, lovely backdrop. I mean, I guess I do. Uh, I should say that this isn't the video that I alluded to at the end of last week's video, where I said I'd be doing something incredibly special, because this, this is very special, but this isn't the exact thing I had planned. That is yet to come. Anyway. <laughs> overview on polarizers and why I decided that the aquarium would be a good place to use one. Essentially what they do is they block vertical rays of light from coming in, so that impacts the level of uh, brightness or reflection that these rays of light will have. This specific one, which is a Mamiya 77mm polarizer, works really well for green scenes to block light coming in from uh, the sky, the blues and also on water, it gets rid of that really, really effectively, but it didn't seem to do the job in the aquarium particularly well. I'm not sure if that's because no polarizer could get rid of that level of uh, reflection, but it was a bit of a, a failure in that sense. And the other thing is, as it's blocking these rays of light from coming in, it is of course decreasing your exposure, so I can tell you now that the majority of those pictures were taken at an eighth of a second at f11, but that was the reading that I got before the polarizer was on, so then I shot them at a half a second at f11 to give it two more stops of light. Which is why things are quite blurry some of the time. There were pictures that are coming up now where I decided I'd rather have an underexposed negative than a, a half second exposure, because obviously at a half second you're losing all detail on anything that's moving, so some of the ones coming up now are going to be uh, less blurry but more underexposed, and that's why. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
And that'll about do it for the in-person aquarium action. I got some really nice photos on this day, to be honest. I really, I like the anemone one a bunch. It's basically the picture that I had in my head of making over the past while that I've wanted to go and photograph this aquarium. And uh, a big thank you to them again for letting me in to make photographs, because it can be a bit of a process, but they were actually somewhat enthusiastic and understanding once I'd explained my intents. Shout out to the Two Oceans Aquarium. Anyway. That anemone picture, and uh, there's one picture of a underwater scene that I made near the anemone exhibit. Oh, there's another anemone picture. Both of those anemone pictures are exactly what I would want to get out of uh, photographing an aquarium, so I'm super stoked on those. And uh, besides that, thank you for watching. Wait, no. This month's print run is going to end uh, next week, with next week's video, so if there are prints on my store currently that you would like to buy, I would suggest doing so now, before they're gone next week. And besides that, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next week.